Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about activewear and if you haven't already seen a lot of it all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, people you watch, it's all about Halara. Halara reached out to me and asked if they could send some pieces my way so I could try some things on for you guys and see how I felt and whether they'd be a good fit for myself and those people who do follow this channel. So I said yes, but, big but, I would absolutely do that if I could please give 100% honest review. But I will go ahead and say thank you very much to Halara for sending all these items my way so I could share with you guys. Now I have five pair of bottoms, no tops. They have some tops on their website, but I was really structured as to what I could buy or they would buy for me, my budget and that. I'm seeing lots of people getting about 10 different items, tops included. I couldn't afford to do that within the budget they gave me. So I am coming to you guys today with five different bottoms. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, um, my name is Kim. All of my measurements will be down below. I will have everything here linked. I will also put on the bottom of the screen the uh, discount code that Halara has granted me to give to all of you. You guys ready for an honest review? Buckle up. I'm gonna start this video with probably my absolute favorite piece of all five bottoms that I received. Now I did choose this one. I believe it wasn't actually one of the items that they had on their list, but there was a bunch of items that they wanted me to pick, uh, but this my size wasn't available. For this video, the first thing I'm gonna show you is an extra large and everything else is a large size. So let's get on to this first piece. So again, I'll have the name down below and all that fun stuff. This is in the color black, but this is a jogger, but it's my favorite piece of everything that I have here to share with you guys. It's a ribbed material. I hope you guys can see that there. It's a beautiful rib material, which I feel is like the big trend. I mean, Lululemon's doing it right now, 2022, towards the end of the year, rib material aligns. This is a heavy duty jogger like it's still lightweight but it definitely hangs heavy it's not like a legging like your typical align or wonder train this is a almost athletic jogger like when i was in high school and i played field hockey this would have been the material i would adidas or nike i would have put on over top my shorts after a, a game outside in the cold so i really really enjoy these pants now i really really like them and it's <laughs> you're gonna hear me say this a few times but one of the reasons why I like these so much, I did get an extra large. I probably could have gone down to a large, but I wasn't sure. I like how it's straight across the top. So I enjoy the straightness across the top. You can tie it up at the front, but there's not really much give to it. That's about as far as it goes. So, you know, if I lose weight, which I am right now, I don't know how much I can tie this up before it might fall down. But anyway, there are no pockets here, but it is a nice cuffed bottom material. There is a front seam on these pants. I felt that they were a little bit big in that area for me, um, but I have to normally size up a bit to compromise being a little bit more baggy in that area and my waist, but to fit my bump. I'm happy I got the extra large, but I think it probably could have gotten a large, but I'm super stoked about these are my absolute favorite pair of pants that I've ordered with Halara and they are actually quite stretchy. Like I mentioned before, it's a very nice hybrid between like an Align type soft stretchy material and a jogger like the Adidas and a Nike ones I was mentioning earlier. This is my absolute favorite pant out of this entire haul. And next up we have something interesting. It's not something I would have purchased, but it was, I was told I had to pick this up as one of my options. I did get all the rest of these bottoms in a size large, as I mentioned. Now, this is what they call a darker black denim wash. So this is a jegging essentially. Now, yes, it has a front end seam here, but that's because it's supposed to be just like jeans. So you can see here the wash and all that. It does have two pockets that are functional at the back. These are a seven eighths length. And I will say, I hope that companies stop doing seven eighths because it seems like seven eighths is different from one company to another. Because what is seven eighths? And what, what was your start in scene? What I'm gonna tell you right now, I have, you guys know, I have tons of Lululemon Wonder Trains and Align leggings, and they are generally 25 inch inseam. This I'm gonna say is a 26 inch inseam. Now I have longer legs and I have torso. So these types of leggings I'm about to share with you guys, like actually even the joggers at the beginning, they're quite long. There's a lot more room. 
I feel that if you're five foot nine, up to about five foot nine, you're probably gonna be good with this as being a full length, especially if, if you have a shorter leg versus torso uh, ratio. I'm five foot six, but I am mostly legs. So I'd say this is a 26 inch inseam because it does hang a little lower than my Lululemons. Now, very comfortable. I was surprised actually, because it does kind of look like real jeans and they are quite stretchy. But I was like, ooh, I don't know. So anyway, I think that they're nice for the stretch. They don't swoosh when you walk. One other thing I like, again, it's straight across the top. That's my favorite. I'm a curvier woman. I do not have a flat stomach, nor do I have flat abs. So anyway, I'm like more the majority of North America. But anyway, um, these pockets are not real, but the back pockets are. But what I will say about the butt pockets, for my large rump, <laughs> behind, luteus, it's too, they're too small. It makes my butt look even that much bigger. I find that I need a little bit bigger of a pocket. Um, I don't know, these are definitely much smaller than a regular size. But um, I'd probably wear these around the house. I probably, same with the jogger, I would wear these around the house. Very comfortable the jogger. I could go outside, you know, if I run errand to the grocery store. These ones I probably wouldn't, wouldn't feel comfortable for uh, doing that kind of thing. It'd be more like just kind of running around the house kind of thing. Uh, again, I am 44 years old. I am not a fashionista. I am here to give you the honest review. And some things are not good. And other things are amazing, like those joggers. I love those joggers. Okay, so the last three items are all leggings. And they all have a crossover, which I think Halara is very famous for. I know a lot of other companies do that as well. Crossover in the waist, and I will show you what that looks like in a second. So again, they're all 7 eighths length, which I still feel is more like a 26 inch length. I feel all of these next three are a little longer than my Lululemon Wonder Trains or Aligns. So with that said, again, if you're a little bit taller, I think you'll be okay. This is in a denim dark blue. Again, not something I would have picked up for myself at all. This is not my style. I am not my, a 20 year old trendy person. It does have the crossover up here, which you can see right here. But the problem with the crossover for me, again, I am not flat stomached nor flat ab. So anything with this crossover, there's no strong tension on it. Like it's not really compressive. The instant I move in these, the top just rolls down. So there's no reason for me to have a crossover because it doesn't stay up. I am like a size 12. So like, again, I'm curvy. The other issue I have with this is it shows so much cellulite. It is not cellulite friendly. Even with the pattern, as soon as the light hits a certain shadow, you're like, okay, I'm not wearing these out. And out of all the leggings I'm sharing with you guys today, this is the only one that did this. And I despise this. <laughs> When I walked just from the bathroom changing into this to do the little try on for you guys, I sounded I can like I could never sneak up on anyone because they'd hear me a block away. It's just that swooshy material. And it's funny because we are talking about other materials down the road where which are pet friendly, which did not make this noise. I have thighs that rub together. <laughs> And unfortunately, when they do that, they make a little music sound, a little orchestra of swoosh. So with that being said, you guys, I don't enjoy this. Um, it's stretchy enough. It's super, super stretchy. I, I like that about it, but it did have pockets. I will also say they had pockets down the side here. But as a person who is not super skinny, these little crossovers make no sense to me. Um, maybe you like them, but for me, I just give me, give it to me straight, straight across because I will never wear any crossovers to the gym because none of them stay up. So next up, I'm gonna share with you guys another pair of leggings. They are a crossover, but the one thing I will say about these is I believe it's part of their like pet hair friendly line. And I will agree, the material that they use for this is pet hair friendly or resistant, but it's no different than the Wonder Train, um, maybe not the Alliance, but the Wonder Train, anything with a little bit more slick to it, um, that's exactly that. There's not as much weave in order for um, the cat hair or dog hair, that kind of thing to sort of stay. It's going to kind of slide off. So this is not unique, but I like their little take on how they want to promote this. I got this in peacoat color, which is really just a lovely navy blue. It is a crossover again. 
This one again has the pockets on the side, just like the last leggings we spoke about. It's super stretchy. It feels buttery soft. The comfort level on this pair of pants is wonderful. It's a seven eighth legging, which again, still for me, I'm gonna tell you it's 26 inch inseam based on my experience with Lululemon. I just wish companies would put the actual inseam on it rather than seven eighths, because again, I don't know where they started with their inseam to know where the end is to make a seven eighths. This one here has a really nice dip in the back, similar to an Align legging from Lululemon. It's got a bit of a dip here at the back, but unfortunately these will just be worn around the house for me uh, because of this crossover. I cannot see myself wearing to this to the gym and I go to the gym four days a week because this would drive me crazy. Like there's definitely compression through here, but I just feel like there's nothing holding it up. And I do really, really appreciate, again, the no front inseam. That is fantastic. I feel a lot of other companies need to do this more. A lot of us women don't like a front inseam for many, many reasons. This will definitely be a great lounge piece for me, but the crossover top portion of it just, it irks me to no end. So again, um, I do enjoy this particular pair of pants, but it will be just something I wear around the house. Last but not least, I believe this is kind of their promotion, the color block legging. So color block meaning that it's again, I got a dark blue because you guys know I'm more comfortable in dark colors if I'm gonna work out. The reason why it's a color block is because what they've done is they've done the crossover again, but they've done it with two different colors and it is seriously built in. Like it's in there, it's she's good. It really does feel like one piece of material. I will give it to them for that. This feels buttery soft like an Align legging at Lululemon. So I will as well give that to them as well for the softness, no front inseam. And again, it's seven eighths length. There are no pockets on this particular one. I feel like this is more for war made for lounging versus the last one we spoke about with the pockets and slightly different material would definitely be something that if it didn't have a crossover on it, I would probably wear that to the gym um, as that feels the most like, like a wonder train from Lululemon. So um, I like these. I'll probably wear these around the house, just bum around. It's the winter time here in Canada. You guys know how it is. She's going to get cold up here. So anything to cover those legs, I'm totally in for it. So I'm going to put my discount code here on the bottom of the screen. I will have everything down below linked for you. Again, I am a curvy woman and some of these items just don't work for someone who isn't just built like perfect and has no like lumps and bumps. Uh, I hate to say it. I mean, that's why most companies don't like to work with me twice because I basically tell the truth and I haven't found where I was 100% happy with everything and you guys know that. There are definitely a couple items that I would recommend. Those joggers are wonderful. I would probably size down to a size large. And then a couple of those leggings towards the end, the two dark blue ones, I was very happy with. I would like to thank Halara very much for allowing me to be candid and honest with all of you guys with the items that I was gifted. If you guys like these types of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.